Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT. In this video we will show you a comparison between the Apple MacBook Air M1 and the MacBook Pro M1. Before I start, I've already done a video on the MacBook Air and Pro M1 models and if you want to see those videos I'll put a link in the top of the video and in the description below. Both the MacBook Air and Pro M1 come with a 13.3 inch LED backlit retina display with IPS technology. They both have a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and 227 pixels per inch, but the Air has 400 nits of brightness and the Pro has 500 nits of brightness. This means you should be able to see a slightly brighter display on the Pro on the right. It's not a massive difference, but if you are looking to buy the Air or the Pro, it's something you should consider. True Tone technology also adds a warmer, more realistic colour to the display. In terms of how heavy the MacBook Air and Pro are, the Air is 2.8 pounds, which is lighter than the MacBook Pro on 3 pounds. The dimensions are very similar on both models, 0.16 to 0.63 inches on the Air, compared with 0.61 inches on the Pro, and they are the same width at 11.9 inches wide. When talking about portability, the Air is slightly lighter, but I don't think the difference between 2.8 pounds and 3 pounds is really noticeable. Pricing for the MacBook Air M1 starts at 999 USD, and the Pro is $300 more expensive on 1299. You can get the Air in three different colors, space gray, gold, and silver, and the Pro in silver and space gray. Storage options start at 256 gigabyte and go up to two terabyte. Using the 256 gigabyte model, I found the upgrade to 512 gigabyte is probably worthwhile as I started having disk space issues after installing the Fortnite game, which requires about 90 gigabytes. I started to wish I had the extra space, so maybe consider this when you're buying either of the new MacBooks. On the left hand side, you have two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports. I would like to see three as one can be taken up with a power adapter. On the right you have a 3.5 headphone jack and there is no SD card reader so it feels limited in terms of connectivity. The design of the MacBook Air is different from the Pro as the palm rests slope down slightly at the front. This does make typing on the MacBook Air more comfortable. Both Macs have a backlit magic keyboard and it is a delight to type on. Above the keyboard, the Pro does have a touch bar. This allows you to control whatever apps is on the screen. So for example, you can fast forward or rewind a YouTube song, or turn the volume up and down. Both models have stereo speakers with wide stereo sound. However, the MacBook Pro M1 has the stereo speakers with high dynamic range. They sit both sides of the keyboards and are designed to point upwards towards your ears. The speakers have the best sound on any laptop I've heard so far. They are truly amazing. Here's a comparison. Let me know what you think in the comments field below. The Force Touch trackpad is nice and wide on both models, however the trackpad is smaller on the MacBook Air, but I never find myself missing a click or having to click twice. Along the top you will find an integrated 720p FaceTime HD camera with the indicator light. 
This is the same webcam on both models, but there is no button to manually close the webcam. The MacBook Air and Pro have Touch ID built into the power button. This allows you to set a fingerprint that negates the need for a password and you can log into your Mac by tapping the power key. Also included in the box is a 30 watt USB-C power adapter for the MacBook Air and the Pro has a 61 watt adapter. You can expect about 18 hours of battery life on the Air and about 20 hours on the Pro which is just outstanding. Cool, let us run some benchmarks. Starting the Cinebench software works the MacBook Air and the Pro really hard, but you won't hear the fan spinning on the MacBook Air because there is none. Let's take a listen to the fan on the Pro. Here's the Cinebench multi-core score for the Air, which was 53.24. This is not as good as the MacBook Pro score, which was 7780. Here's the Geekbench CPU single core score and multi core score. As you can see from these scores, the CPU is basically the same. Here's the Geekbench compute score. As you can see, the MacBook Pro did much better. One thing I noticed too if you have two Macs and plug them in together via the USB cable, you only need to press the power button on one Mac and it automatically starts the other Mac. You should buy the MacBook Air M1 if you want an affordable Apple Mac computer. It's a powerful, light, thin laptop that runs Mac OS Big Sur. It's very portable and has amazing battery life and runs whisper silent as it doesn't have a fan. You should buy the MacBook Pro M1 if you need even better performance and battery life. However, it does have a loud fan which can be annoying. Whichever model you decide to get, I would definitely recommend getting the 512GB storage model. Just so you don't run out of space so easily. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as Apple MacBook Air M1 review. And do me a favour, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.